Hi, this is Dr. Pei recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip on solving x to the 10th equal to 1.1 to 1. We are going to use this theorem called Demolve. I hope I didn't sabotage his last name too much. It's a French mathematician, uh, Abraham, and it's a pretty sad life. He was persecuted in France and fled to England, but died in relatively poverty and never got any college or a university appointment. Anyhow, it's a pretty powerful theorem. In solving this one, we're going to assume x is a complex number in that x is equal to r e to the i theta. And then using the theorem, theorem left hand side becomes r to the tenth e to the i times 10 times theta is equal to 1.21, 1 to 1 e to the i 2k pi. Now this side is 2k pi is because this one is just a real number. And k is equal to 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9, because we are looking for 10 roots. Majority of the work is really done from this one step. Next thing we're going to do is r to the 10th, we're going to equate equal to 1, 2, 1. And then you take in the roots on the calculator, you'll see this one is equal to 1.011. Okay. And then theta, we have 10 theta is equal to 2k pi. So basically, theta is equal to 2 pi over 10 k, or theta is equal to pi over 5 k. And k again is 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9. Now from here onward, it's just purely a computation. For example, x of 0 will denote theta equal to 0. Okay, so we have r and then e to the i theta 0, 1.011. And then you have cosine of 0 degrees, because theta is 0 equal to k equal to 0, plus i sine of 0 degrees. And that gives you the first root is 1.011. Okay. Let's calculate one more, and then I'll show you a computer-generated solution. They're all in decimals, but it doesn't derive where it comes from. So let's try uh, when k equal to 1 k equal to 1, we have x of 1, that's 1.011, cosine of for this one, when k equal to 1, we have pi over 5, which is really 36 degrees, plus i, cosine, oh, messed up, this is sine, pi over 5. And if you evaluate this one as 1.11, uh, cosine, oh, I don't have a cosine, 36, actually. Let me go grab the calculator and actually just punch in here, so I have Cosine 36, I have 0 0.8090 plus i, let's do the sine, which is uh, 36, so we have 0 0.5878. Okay, so the answer coming out is 0 0.818311, it's probably more decimal than you need. Imaginary part is 0 0.5945. Okay, so this is the first root. As you can see, I'm going to grab a computer-generated solution here. This one is generated from the Wolfgram. Um, you can see here is the root we just calculated. This is theta is equal to pi over 5. Okay, and it goes up all the way to different theta angles. You do exactly the same thing. There are two roots that's interesting. This one, of course, with calculator, this is theta equal to 0. And there is another one. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's one when theta is equal to pi. Okay, so when k equal to 5, basically. All right, so basically from here, you can generate the rest of the eight solutions. I'll leave this sheet here, and if you want, you can pause it and go back and check you have all the eight solutions. Well, I hope that's clear. Once again, from Tucson, 
Arizona. This is Dr. Pan. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.